Hi, this is Monty with Flowers by the Bunch and welcome back to our wedding design series. Today, I am going to show you how to make a wrist corsage. Um, wrist corsages come on several different types of bracelets and today I am actually going to use a gold metal cuff bracelet. Um, what I'm going to do is I am actually going to use Oasis cold glue. Cold glue works the best for um, wrist corsages to me. Um, so much easier than the old school wire and tape. One day I will show you how to wire and tape, but today we are actually gonna use the cold glue. This is for a corsage for a um, wedding, and these are the mother's corsages. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out using the cold glue, and I am going to place glue, if I can get it to squeeze out, place glue directly onto this bracelet. And I'm gonna let it sit for just a few minutes. So I just place glue onto that bracelet. Um, I am going to use, start out using wax flower. Wax flower is gonna be my base for the corsage. And so I'm just gonna take several different little pieces of wax flower. And I'm just gonna lay them directly into that glue. The wonderful thing about this glue is once it's dried, it takes a, quite a few minutes for it to dry, but once it's dry, your flowers are not going anywhere. So I am just placing these as a base for my flowers. This bride actually did not want us to use any ribbon in these corsages. So that's the reason I am not basing this corsage with a ribbon. Most often we will base the corsage with ribbon, but today we are not. So this is Lysianthus and this is the, um, the flower we're going to use for our corsage today. And so I am just taking the buds. I'm going to cut the stem off at the base and then I'm going to take that corsage glue and I am going to place it on that flower. And then I'm going to just tuck it right into my wax flower. So I've just taken that glue. And you just kind of layer it slowly but surely. You just add flowers to it. Okay, so I've got my three large flowers. I'm gonna let that dry a few minutes. I'm gonna take some Italian Ruscus, which I used in the boutonniere that was the video before this one. This is just Italian Ruscus. It's just a pretty dark green foliage. And I am actually just going to take it off leaf by leaf. I'm gonna to touch it with just a tiny bit of glue and just add it into place if I don't glue it to the table. I'm just gonna tuck it into place. Now when this glue gets on your fingers, it's a little difficult to get off. You kind of wear it off, but at least you know your flowers stay in place, right? So slowly but surely, I am just taking it and tucking, tucking the foliage all the way around. And you'll just continue to layer until you get the corsage to look like you want it to look. With Lysianthus, my favorite part of Lysianthus is the um, the buds that come on Lysianthus. And so I'll take these little buds, I'll just pop them off the stem. This is what the stem looks like. I'll just take the buds and individually tuck those into the corsage. And when it's all finished, this is going to be your finished product. 
And so you can kind of see where I took the buds and I, um, I glued them in. It just takes a little time to get your glue to dry, but that's your finished product. Very easy, very simple. Um, I did take the buds and kind of tuck and glue those in. I took the um, greenery just leaf by leaf and tucked those in. It's so much easier than the old school way of wiring and taping. You really couldn't get this effect if we wired and taped everything. Um, and so guys, thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, follow us on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We hope to see you soon. Thank you.